Okay, here with Greenwood Head basketball coach Kenneth Harris and Steins, a winner 63 to 46 over the Cox Falcons, and moved to 13 and 4 overall. Coach, I know you want to get the bad taste out of the mouths from uh, the close loss to Cape Henry Saturday night in the Virginia Preps Classic. This is the yeah. third game in four days for you. You got another one tomorrow night. Got off to a great start, 17 to 5. What did you want to see in the first period, and what did you see? I mean, basically, what we did, we we defended. We didn't want to get, we didn't want Kayvon to get going, and um, I felt like that first half, we, we did exactly what we were supposed to mm -hmm. do. We kind of established it in the first quarter, and uh, you know, with Jake, we threw three bodies at him, Jake, uh, Daytron, and uh, Atri. Mm -hmm. So you know, they did a good job of face guarding him, not letting him get his shot off. You know, I I was. Picking, picking with him, and I was telling him about how Shane Batty covers uh, Kobe. And I said, when he gets his shot, you know, you got to put your hand in his face. So, you know, we got to have a fake hand in his face at all times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jake Cooper, you mentioned the freshman guard, really face guarding him well to go with uh, Adrian Creole and uh, Daytron Walker covering James, who had eight threes Saturday at VA Preps Classic record, only two tonight, which came in the fourth quarter. Defensively, you held them down. They were like two for 18 to start. Offensively, I thought you guys came out and established the post, both with Ja'Shawn Brown and Sean Sanders. And what do you know, Jay Sean tonight with a career high 16 points, a career high 15 rebounds. He also had four blocks before he fouled out. Yeah, that was a game plan from the get go attack and then. Control the middle and control the inside. Um, Jay Sean, you know, he's. We, we told him uh, we're gonna need him coming down the stretch. So we got to get him going. And I thought he had a good game today. Um, as far as defensively, you know, we had guys. And I, I told Kayvon at the beginning of the game. I said, man, if I had three, you hit our team running. So you know, that's why he wasn't wasn't able to take any looks. But offensively and defensively, that was a game plan: mm -hmm. attack, attack, and then keep them, keep them, don't don't let them get hot. It seemed like at the start of the year, the theme with this, this, this team, or the headline was it was a one-two punch of Ashley James and Sean Thins. We know both can score 25-plus any given night. Now you guys are featuring Brown Moore. And in playing Brown in the starting lineup, I know you've used both him and Lakeem Rudolph. How do you see that the, the lineup, how is it How is it adjusted to that? Um, getting better, you know, it's, it's, it's you know, we, with Jay Sean, I mean, he, he covers a lot of ground inside. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and, and Lakeem does a great job, too, because it gives us options of, of how we want to play defense, and he's a great defender. So, I mean, he's probably leading us in blocks. So, you know, I mean, he does a great job, too, and, and they're accepting their role. Every kid knows they have a role on the team. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they got to just do it, and, and that's how we're going to be successful. You guys have won a lot of games the last several years. You're now 13 and 4, as I mentioned. But as a lot of teams that are chasing that championship, the, the story is what do you find out about a loss? What did you learn about yourselves from another close loss? That was Cape Henry, but you've had a few that you guys could easily be undefeated right now, it seems like. But what did you learn from that recent loss? I mean, it's one, one thing about losing, man, and, and especially right now, you know, you learn from it. And, mm -hmm. you know, we, sometimes it's better to learn from a loss than, than a win because, you know, if we win that game against Cape Henry, who knows, we, we may miss out on some some points that we're not focusing on, especially defensively or rebounding because we got our rebounding uh, Saturday. So, you know, sometimes it's better to, to uh, you know, to learn from losses, just not when it's the last, time, the, right. the last game. And then uh, for the playoffs here, I know you've got with the regular season remaining, uh, looks like you've got, uh, I believe it's five more games. Um, what's the things you're, you're really harping on with this group as you get ready for the postseason and try to get a better seed? Well, this is the time to get stronger. Um, you know, this is we've been here before, and you know we just got to keep keep getting better. Uh, you know, I still we, we definitely have room for improvement, but we got to be consistent. As you see, our third quarter right now we're struggling, so we got to correct that. And I told them if we don't correct it, it's gonna bite us. But we just don't want it to bite us when it counts. Well, thanks so much. We'll see you soon. All right.